Ellen Nuckman of Agora Financial joins me now for the weekly options alert and we are turning to you as the guy who's watching the reversals in this market on Tuesday. We saw huge reversals. Turnaround. Alan. It was a turnaround Tuesday. Now, it could be the start of something, but let's remember it was six straight sessions in the red, and we did see a bit of a bounce back. That's why we trade options, so we can look bigger picture here. So let's see if this stability continues and we get a little bit of a stock surge and come back. Well, let's check your options trade, starting with Freeport Mac Moran. A lot of people are calling this a Trump trade here. Yeah, and it did sell off, got caught up in the market, and uh, it is a Friday expiration. So we still got a couple of days to salvage as best we can. It's an $18 call. We're trading at 19 right now so it's in the money uh, we'll be getting out of this in the next couple days and then BMY another stock that we are tracking here yeah boom goes Bristol Myers it took off uh, just like the ind indicator suggested we had in a target order didn't quite get it so we still have that working uh, that expires on the 16th of February so we still have over a week of time for more recovery in the overall market I remember that you gave yourself a longer time horizon. Right, bought more time. Which was just smart in case. with yes. this market. How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what your WPI trade trigger is pointing to this week. Smart money was piling into Twitter. Now, Twitter had been trading between 24 and 26, which targets 28. We've got the 24 call, and again, we bought extra time. Buy enough time to be right. So this option still has two and a half weeks of time. We're trading about 25 here. And if you look at tech, tech is still up 4% year to date. It's up 28% in the last year, and it's up 140% in the last five wow. years. So it's not over in tech, even with this pullback. And anything else we need to know about that trade, Alan? Well, the Twitter call is a 24 call, so it's at that support level. Let's see if we can get a bounce back. But really, it's the macro market that that's uh, driving everything right now. Let's see if Twitter can make another bounce and attack that 27 level. Before you take off, your trader takeaway starting with number one. Yeah, bond market reversal. We saw that on Monday. That was a sign of stability. What we did there is we made new lows in bonds on the session and had a higher close. So that is a very positive sign. It's called a key reversal. And all of last week, the concerns were that interest rates were moving too fast. So that slowed that game. And number two, VIX is on your list. Yeah, we had a VIX explosion, obviously, but we had a key reversal there Tuesday where we made new highs and then a lower close. So we got up to the 50 level. Wow, that's a high number. 50 in the VIX, but came back down and actually closed in the red on the day. We hadn't been to 50 since 2015 with the last flash crash. And then three stock stability. Yeah, we're seeing those signs of stability there. And we're also seeing heavy volume. We saw the S&P futures on Monday night make new relative lows, take out that extreme low, and then close higher on Tuesday. So if we can build on that and close above Friday's close, then we'll be back to stable. Well, Alan, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Stay on your toes. Yes.